What's up, everyone? I'm Ken Levitsky. I'm still in the DC Fandom, and we're going to be heading in shortly to the uh, Warner Brothers Games Montreal panel, um, where they're going to be showing off their brand new game, their mystery game, their mystery game. We all know it's a new Batman game. Um, for those that don't know, these people are the ones that developed Batman Arkham Origins. So they are very aware of what to do with Batman because, you know, Rocksteady's heading on over to the Suicide Squad. I'm really excited to watch this panel um, and to see uh, a trailer or some gameplay footage or something. Oh, can't wait. We're going to head right on into it as soon as I'm done looking at some artwork. Oh. Zach Levi is going to do the panel. Interesting. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Gotham City. I was a little like, is it a Shazam game? Why is Zachary Levi doing this? But all right, let's check this out. This is probably gonna look awesome because it's probably running on like PS5, new Xbox. Yeah. Code Black. Oh. Bruce Wayne is old. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a cold black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize that Batman is gone. We can't count on the GCPD. What? I got chills. Good luck. And goodbye. And like I'm gonna cry for some reason. This is <laughs> oh, Robin Batgirl Nightwing Red Hood. Interesting costume for Robin. Like mini trench coat thing going on. Batgirl's costume looks perfect. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh Nightwing. Yes. Red Hood, I mean, yeah, got a lot of gunplay going on there. From crime fighters to vigilantes. From vigilantes to heroes. Oh, I'm pumped to play this bad girl. She looks great. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm so confused. Is this co-op? Is this online only? Like, it looks like you're playing his background ROM at the same time. So it is Gotham Knights. 
Huh. Hmm. Court of Owls? Court of Owls. Not a whisper word is said. Huh. Or if you try to cross them, then... So Chris is right. The Court of Owls are in the new game. But no Batman. Talon's in there. Step into the night, 2021. Gotham Knights. I'm Patrick Redding. I'm Phil Matsu. We're both from Warner Brothers Games Montreal, and we're both... Wow. To finally be able to show that you That is not Knights. what I was expecting. You may be wondering why we chose to sell this story and focus on this character. Batman being dead and then following on, on all of his uh, protégés? Huh. I love uh, the background. I, I missed the two names of these people here. They're from Warner Brothers Montreal. The black, white, and red like mapping looks awesome. You get to see how you would step up and become Gotham's protector. You're not trying to become the new Batman. You're becoming your own badass superhero. And as a bonus. Your own makes it kind of sound like create your own superhero type of deal. What's this? In in oh, nice in engine gameplay footage captured from pre alpha game build. All right, the trailer is insane. So let's see what the gameplay looks like. This is exciting for me to, to watch this right now. It reminds me, like, I, I was at New York Comic Con in 2011, and uh, my wife and I, we went to watch the Batman Arkham City panel, and we got to see the trailer and the gameplay and everything for the first time, like, before anyone, and it was so cool. So I'm getting that feeling right now from watching this again. Just, the, like, the chills of seeing something, like, firsthand. Okay, we got some uh, Batgirl bike play going on here with lightning strikes and stuff coming down. I hope this isn't like Arkham Knight where it's so vehicle focused. Um, but we'll see. This isn't a rock steady game, so hard to say how it'll play out. Graphics look insane though. Huh. Uh, Batgirl looks great. I can't wait to play this Batgirl. Oh. So we got this building covered in ice. This has got to be something Mr. Freeze. Oh. Robin's here. Huh. Okay. Looks like Robin's just helping out. So I don't know. I don't know if this is online only or not. It's interesting. Huh. This looks kind of RPG-ish um, with the hits and stuff. Interesting. It's like a swarm of bats going around Batgirl right now. Just the graphics are so good. Same classic Batman grappling stuff going on here. Um, that basically that perfect gameplay that was that it first appeared in Arkham Asylum. This is just nuts with all the lightning and stuff coming down and the snow and the fog. And... Wow. Epic, epic scope. Big scale. Like, like Almost God of War style. I 
wonder who the voices are in this game. His voice acting's all right. It's all right. It's oh, we got oh, it just switched over to Robin. Did like split screen and then went to Robin. Is this Robin? Oh, it's Red Robin. I was wondering because it was showing the Robin symbol, but then he'd appear like so quickly. I was like, why has he got a hood on? It's Red Robin. Okay, well, I know Chris does love Red Robin, so I'm sure he'll be happy about this. Ah, this Batgirl gameplay looks great. Well, a few different enemy types here already, so um, should be pretty varied. Very action-oriented. I haven't seen anything like stealth detective-like yet, really. It's like lots of fighting. Lots of fighting. Yeah, you get XP points and everything, so it's neat. It's still mind blowing to me that Batman died. I want to. Well, I wonder, like, wonder if this takes place in the art. Like, it doesn't have Arkham in the title, so I wonder if this is actually in the Arkham universe, or if this is its own little thing on its own. Alfred's talking to them. That's cool. I don't know about the voices. I don't know about the voices. They're they're decent. They're decent, but. Not quite the quality I, I expect after playing the Arkham games. <laughs> it's just, it's not a very good voice for Barbara Gordon. And I'm sorry uh, to the actress who played Barbara Gordon here, but I just expected something more, I don't know, different for Oracle. Really interesting costume for her though. Full cowl and everything. I mean, I know she's got the full cowl, but it's very, like, it's, like, very full cowl with just the hair in the back. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mr. Freeze, right? I think it's the white eyes on her. I really dig the back of her look. Mr. Freeze. Gonna see a little bit of a boss battle here? I don't know. I don't know how you could top that boss battle with Mr. Freeze in Arkham City. That was intense. Alright, just uh straight up straight up brawler right now, this boss fight. Great graphics. This freeze has got this huge dangly cord just hanging from him. I don't know why Robin's not jumping on it and just ripping it off while he's focused on Batgirl. Oh. Zach or Levi out of nowhere. So it's a whole cast, okay, so it's not co-op only. That's good. I, I was kind of worried that this would be online only type of deal, like Anthem style, with, but like Gotham Heroes.
goes into deciding which characters you are going to develop a game around? Well, we chose characters who resonate with players on a few different axes. We wanted heroes who embody different aspects of the Bat family. The detective side as well as It looks the like most of the Bat family's in here, so it's not like you had a hard choice. You just we looked for took them all and put them in the game. A unique starting point and then um, a long runway for growth. Ultimately, we wanted heroes that could take on the forces that threaten Gotham City, but each bringing their own unique perspective. Gotcha. Okay. Um, now we have Riley from the United States. Homegrown, homegrown. Uh, Riley from the United States asks, could you give anything more on this uh, WB Games Montreal game? Any other little tidbits? We're actually sort of standing in it. Um, the Belfry will be a very important location. Merely worded question. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we, gotta, we gotta keep a few secrets. We're gonna have more to talk about later. We can tell you this. The mystery in Gotham Knights is way bigger than just the program. This Court Owl stuff looks uh, awesome. Well, is, there, is there anything else that you would like us to know? A release date. Well, our game is coming out in 2021, and we can't wait for everyone 2021. to play it. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Patrick and Floor, for sharing everything that you have. Is there anything else you can tell us? The same thing you already told us. Interesting. Okay, so that's Gotham Knights. That was uh, my reaction to... Um, this gameplay and the trailer, Zachary Levi was a weird choice as the, as the yeah. panel host on that. Um, so yeah, Gotham Knights. I take a look at the Suicide Squad game later on in the day. Um, it looks cool. It looks cool. I got to see more on it. I got to see more on it. It was just very, very hand-to-hand. -hand. It, it looked like a brawler, just like a, a button-mashing brawler without the, uh, without the stealth and everything. That I love from the Arkham games. And then we saw some more uh, bike gameplay in there. So I hope there's not too much vehicle stuff. But that is my reaction to that. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can catch us at geekpantsmedia.com. You can see Chris and I here. YouTube, Geek Pants Camcast. You can also listen to our uh, podcast at, um, on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. All right, I don't know what what panel we're hopping into next here because the schedule has gone all wacky and the store isn't running very well. Yeah, I don't know. So, I'll be back soon. Thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you later. <laughs>